before Peggy's driving test. <laughs> How are you feeling? Psyched. Psyched. Are you ready for your driving test? Test start time is 10.14, it's now 9.14, so exactly one hour from now we'll be in that office, the examiner will come out with his iPad or her iPad, call your name out, he will show you his iPad or her iPad, <laughs> or their iPad their I should iPad. I say, yeah, their <laughs> iPad, that's more politically correct. So they'll show you, they will show you their iPad right hand lane, yeah? That's it. Remember? Yep. Um, they will ask you to read two little declarations, tick tick. One is that the car is insured and the other one is that you've been in the UK for the last 180 days, something like that. Yeah. Um, they'll want to see your provisional driver's licence. <laughs> And, and la laugh I'd laugh at the photograph <laughs> and go, who is that? And then they look at you and go, hmm, okay. So they'll ask you to sign the bottom of their iPad and they'll probably ask you to try and replicate the signature on your driving license as close as you possibly can. Yeah? So have a look at your driving license later on when we come to a stop. Yeah, I've no idea. And try and remember what signature you used. Um, they will sh ask you, is that your current um, address. email address? Yeah, and if it is, yeah, so tick, tick, and sign. And then the examiner will, should ask you, um, would you like your driving instructor to come out with you on test? Choice is yours. 99% say no, they don't want me there. It's up to you. Um, if you say no, then the next thing they'll ask you is, would you like your examiner there? Uh, would you like your in instructor there at the end to listen to the uh, result and the feedback? Please say yes, because I want to be there and listen to what's going on. What happened, if there's anything we need to work on, etc, etc, etc. And then they'll come out of the office and then they'll do an eyesight test. Please tell me you can read a number plate at 25 metres. What if we go all the way and then you didn't see? Then it's not going ahead. You're going straight back home. That's it. Game over. Job done. <laughs> it ain't happening. Because if you can't see, they're not going to get into a car with somebody who has no idea what's coming up 25 metres in front of them. That's it. Over. That. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, like I said, Get now is your now is your opportunity to make them mistakes, okay? <laughs> if you're gonna make a mistake, if you're gonna do something silly, do it now. Yeah? No. Then after they've checked your eyesight, they'll go to the car, they may ask you to open the bonnet. Oh yeah. Okay? So do you remember where the bonnet catches? That's it down there, yeah? Uh, that's it. And it's one of several questions. The most popular one is, can you explain to me how you check that this vehicle has sufficient oil? Can you remember what the answer is? Uh, the dipstick thingy. But yeah, should I do it? Um, you don't have to if you don't want to. You know how to do it, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> In, out, clean, uh, minimum, maximum, blah, 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 and that's it, that way. Close up on it and watch your fingers. Have a look for indicators. There we go, look at that. Yeah. And move away when you're ready, please. Stop talking, David. Go on. Stop waffling. And then the chances are they'll set the sat nav up on the dashboard. Ooh, sat nav. Sat nav. So basically, follow the directions on the sat nav. If it gets a little bit confusing, have a look at that black bar on the top of the screen. That's a that's the basic version of what you need to do next. If it's a junction, turn left, it'll have a blue arrow going upwards and left turn, and then how many meters or yards it is, okay? So 200 meters, turn left. Or it'll have a symbol of a roundabout, and it'll either have left, 
forward or right. Yeah. Just doing that for you. That's it. Like I said, get them over and done with now. That's it. We'll follow that Mitsubishi. the traffic lights on. The worst one. <laughs> the worst colour. Red. So, and then you'll be moving away out of the driving test centre. And then it's up to you for the next 40 odd minutes. Just look through that windscreen. Deal with whatever you can see in front of you. Don't rush. Don't hold people up. Finding that sweet spot, yeah? Left mirror, left indicator. That's it. Watch that little Corsa. There we go. One of the biggest warning signs I've ever seen in my entire life, okay? Is somebody with polished wheels, something dangling from the centre mirror on a Corsa. Centre mirror, left mirror, and a fake exhaust behind. As if he's got some sort of V6. You're still in the kit. <laughs> yeah. And then off you go. You go off and round, do the test route, a little bit of everything, junctions, roundabouts, dealing with potential problems dealing with buses and bus stops dealing with breakdowns dealing with delivery drivers dealing with traffic lights dealing with pedestrians who just want to step out in front of you just scan 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 always know what's happening in front of you by the sides of you and behind you I felt like a like an airline stewardess then the <laughs> did you notice <laughs> certain you'll do a little bit of dual carriageway because there's a dual carriageway literally a few minutes away from the test centre so you will be doing that um, do not change a thing okay the way we've been learning the way all the lessons we've been doing I've been teaching you how to drive safely okay and normally don't think to yourself oh Dave's not here, I've got an examiner sat next to me, so I have to completely change everything and drive as if everybody's about to crash into me. And we'll i I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll drive at 30 miles an hour on the dual carriageway. Oh, that's a cracking idea. No. Drive the way we've been driving, yeah? Do not think to yourself I have to drive extra safe now because of somebody else. Because we've been driving how you should drive, okay? Perfectly. Well done, you die out. <laughs> and any last advice to anybody else who might be about to do their driving test? Um, don't get really stressed about it because it's just a normal driving lesson, but there's a different person. <laughs> Basically, yeah. Yeah. And it's not a driving test, is it? Because I hate the word test. It's a test. It's an assessment. There, oh, there's the driving test there. He's just about to pull up on the left. See him? Oh. That red car? Oh. Yeah? That is, um... Oh, what's his name? I can't remember his name. He's an ex-driving instructor from uh, um, down railway. Uh, great, no. I forgot. Anyway. So he's going through Banker. He's just going to pull up on the left there, okay? Oh, yeah, he's going to go. Yeah, so the chances are, if you if you get him later on, he'll do a pull up on the left there, okay? Yeah, we've done it a few times, haven't we? Yeah, and I won't that's indicate left when I move right. No, that's right. Yeah, it. don't confuse people around you. Be helpful. If you do make a mistake, just let it go. Yeah. Don't dwell on it, because the amount of times, okay, I've had students come back to the test centre. I've stood next to the car, they've looked up at me with a face like a smacked ass because they think they failed and the 
Nick Salmon have said, well, I'm pleased to tell you. <laughs> and they've gone, eh, what? do you mean it? Are you telling the truth? Yes. However, I'd like you to work on so and so and so and so and so and so. That's the that's the, that's why they yeah. have the feedback at the end. Yeah. Um, you are allowed to make up to fifteen little mistakes because the DBSA know. Yeah, and it it, it 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 takes years of practice, years of driving, to become better and better and better. And even after all these years, I still see things I've never seen before. Yeah. So, it's an assessment, they're not there to try and catch you out, they're not there to try and trick you, there's no such thing as a quota, only people who fail the test say, yeah well I would have passed except they reached their quota today, so that's why they failed me. No, you failed because you did something stupid, yeah? <laughs> you don't want to admit it. <laughs> yeah, basically, it yeah. So yeah. <laughs> so, at the roundabout we'll turn right, please. Second exit. Oh well, that's it. She's out. There's nothing more we can do. Um, she's been out about 10 minutes now. Uh, the test should take anywhere about 35, 40 minutes, something like that. And uh, good luck, Peggy. You deserve it. You go, girl. There we go. Right then. <laughs> Don't worry, I, I will uh, I will blank out any numbers and things like that. So, what happened? Um, I just passed my driving test because I am a competent driver. You are a competent driver for minors, for little mistakes. One of them was there, literally there. What was that for again? Not being quite close enough to the curb. Ah, okay, a little bit too far away from the curb. Yeah. Well done. Put a smile on your face, woman. Jeepers. <laughs> I'm in shock. We went left. I oh, was so excited. I was like, we went left? Yeah. I knew that way. <laughs> I saw the 30 sign and I thought, no, not today. <laughs> Stick to 30. That was all right. Oh, I'll jump out. <laughs> well done. Well done, Peggy. I can't My own. So we get the uh, insurance sorted on the van and that's it. And the car, because Steve says he'll put me on his car as well. Oh, okay. Because I don't want to just drive the van, that's scary. But well done. Well, how does I, it feel? I can't. Also, it's yeah. Independence Day. And I Fourth have, of July, it is, yeah. I have Independence Day. Yeah, Independence on Independence Day. This is the best day ever. Right, what's this guy doing? Come on. That was like my... What else happened? Oh, okay, well, I just you... passed my test, but you need another one. Yeah. Sorry. Just passed. It's so tiny. Look at it. You get to keep it forever. Right, leave your phone in the car. Take your seatbelt off. I don't even know where my phone is. 